Hello, this is Thomas Adrianson with NCSI, and today I'm going to teach you how to integrate Avanti neurons for ITSM with Teams. Instructions for this can be found on Avanti's forums, and we'll provide the link in the description below. For this demonstration, you're going to need administrator access to neurons for ITSM, as well as Microsoft Teams. The first thing we're going to need to do is enable a couple of global constants in neurons for ITSM. So we're going to log in as an administrator and open up our configuration console. Under build, we're going to go to global constants. I like to sort this by name to make things a little bit easier to find, and we're going to be enabling two global constants. The first one is going to be chat enabled, which I've already set to true here on my demo tenant. And the next one is going to be MS Teams integration enabled, which I've also set to true here. Once we've done that, we can then go to the developer portal and build our app. So the developer portal, which is dev.teams.microsoft.com, we're going to go down to apps and we're going to create a new app. We'll give it a name and add it. That's going to give us the app ID, so we're going to want to copy this and write that down somewhere because we're going to be needing that later on. Once we have this built out, we can go ahead and build the bot to associate it to this app. So we're going to go to the next icon down, which is this pencil icon, and we're going to go to bot management. We're going to create a new bot. And we're going to give it our endpoint address, which is going to be our neurons for ITSM tenant slash Avanti bot service slash API slash messages question mark. So once you put that in, you can save it. And we can come back to bots. You're also going to want to copy this bot ID. So we'll be needing that. And then we need to generate a client secret. So in the client secret section, we're going to add client secret for your bot. Now, this is only going to be displayed once, so make sure you copy this value here. You'll never be able to see it again. The next step is going to be to link the bot to the app that we've created. So we're going to come back up to the app section, go to our application, go to app features, and bot. And under select an existing bot, we're going to select the bot that we just created. Under what can your bot do, you're going to select upload and download files, and you're going to set the scope to personal, and you're going to save this. Once you save this, you're going to have a command section that pops up, so we're going to go ahead and create our commands for our Teams bot. So we're going to check uh, add a command here, and we're going to enter five commands. So the first one we're going to do is start chat analyst, which is going to start chat with and we're just going to set the scopes of all of these to personal. The next command is going to be stop chat analyst. We're going to create a, man, a command for create incident. We're going to set one for incident status. And then finally, we're going to set one for help. Once we have those commands in place, we can save it. And then we're ready to publish our bot. So we can click publish and download app package. And that's going to download the application to your downloads folder. Once you have the bot package downloaded, we're going to need to upload that to our Teams Admin Center. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to go to admin.teams.microsoft.com. Logging is in, in as an administrator. And we're going to go to Teams App, Manage Apps. And we're going to go to Upload New App. You'll click Upload. You'll navigate to your Downloads folder. And you'll click on that zip file and click Open. Our new app will be added. And if we search by the name, 
we'll be able to see that our bot here is now published. Once the bot is published, users will be able to add it to their Teams instance. So if they go to either their Teams application or they go to Teams on the web page, they can then go to apps. They will see the app that you have published to their profile and they can add that there. It will then appear over here on the left hand side. However, we're not done yet. We still need to connect this bot to our neurons for ITSM platform. In order to do that, we're going to go back to Neurons for ITSM. We're going to log, be logged in as an administrator and go into our configuration console. And down under uh, Extend, we're going to see our Microsoft Teams integration option. Now, most of this stuff will already be filled out, all of these options here. The only things we really need to worry about are the bot IDs. So if I copy in the bot ID that you had before and then the secret key that you created. You should be able to save that. And then your bot will now be linked to Neurons for ITSM. So next, we're going to need to go ahead and enable that chat button. So we're going to go to roles and permissions. You're going to go to the role that you want, likely service desk analyst. On the layouts, you're going to make sure that this check overwrite default branding options with the options listed below is checked, and then you want to select this enable chat as analyst button. What this is going to do is this is going to give you this chat bubble that's up here, and this is going to allow analysts to turn on chat. Once the analyst has enabled their chat, they'll now be able to talk to users through Microsoft Teams. So we'll navigate back to our Teams user here, and I'll go to Vertrillabot. I can either click on this and get a list of the help, uh, the commands that we've entered, or if I type in help, this will essentially wake the bot up. And you're going to get a prompt here that says, what can you do? And again, these are just the uh, commands that we have entered. So if we wanted to talk with an analyst, we're going to say chat with an IT analyst. It's going to connect you to the next available agent, which should be me. And we'll see that it is now connected to me. So if we come back over, you'll see that you've got a notification up here from Susan Brown. You can start that chat, and we'll see that we have a chat initiated with Susan. We can say, hey, how can I help you? They'll get that message directly in their teams, and they can let you know what's going on. My computer is broken. From here, an analyst would be able to create an incident, which copies over the contents of the chat into a new incident, including the chat log, and you can add that chat conversation to the activity history. And it's gonna let you know what that incident is. You can click on that incident number to open it directly. And the end user will also receive a notification. The other options include checking the status of open incidents or even creating new incidents directly from Teams yourself without chatting with an analyst. So I can either create a new ticket here or I can say uh, enter a subject. and it will create an incident for me. Uh, the other option is to check an incident status. So we can check ticket statuses here. It will give you a list of your recently opened tickets. I can go ahead and click one of these and it will give me the status of those records. And it's going to continue to ask us if we want to use the bot after it's completed these actions. So that is how you integrate Microsoft Teams with your neurons for ITSM instance. I hope this information has been helpful for you. Thanks for watching.